Hello guys, welcome back to Events of a Recycler View. So here is the application used in the previous episode. So here is a Recycler View that contains some card views. So each of these cards will display some contact information. So whenever user click any of these cards, it will display another activity that contain a detailed contact information. Okay. So in this episode, I am going to show you how to establish this one. Whenever user click any of this card view, it will display a new activity that contain an image view and three text views. So here is the previous application. So here we implement some card view and a recycler view. So first we have to define some new activity to display the contact information. So <clears throat> that activity contain an image view and three text views. So the first thing we have to create a new activity to display the contact information. So create a new activity. Right click the application and create a new activity. Right click the application and create a new activity. Select an empty activity. I name it as contact details and change the layout name contact uh, details layout click finish Okay, now the activity is created. Here is the newly created activity. So now we have to add some image view and three text views. So before here I am going to change this one into linear layout. And specify some orientation for this layout. Android orientation into vertical. Okay, now we have to add an image view and three text views. Okay, now here I add the image view with ID the contact image. Uh, this image view display the contact image. And here is the text view that display the uh, person name. And with ID uh, the contact name. And here is the text view uh, that display the email with id the contact email and one more text view is needed okay i change the id into the contact mobile okay and here it is and it will display some mobile number mobile and display some mobile number Okay, so now we create the activity to display the contact informations. So now we have to handle the click events of the recycler view. So open up the adapter class, open up the contract adapter. Unfortunately, there is no on item click listener for the recycler view. And here the solution is you have to implement some on click listener interface for the view holder class so now here i am going to implement some on click listener for the view holder class so go to the view holder class and implement some on click listener so implements view dot on click listener okay and here you need to implement some methods the method is on click okay so now we implement an on click listener for the view holder class and we override the method called on click 
Okay, now we have to register each of the card view for the on click listener. So here you need to register the on click listener for the card view. So by using this view argument, so view dot set on click listener this. Okay, so whenever user click any of the card view, it will invoke this method called on click. Okay, so from here we have to start the new activity and we have to pass some data to the new activity. We have to pass the image ID for the person and we have to pass the person name, person mobile and person email address. Okay, so we have to get the data from the, we have to get the information from this array list. So we have to start a new activity. So we need some activity context for that. In this class, uh, for the in the constructor of this class, we have to define some additional arguments. So here is only an array list argument is available. So here I am going to add some context. I name it as CTX. And here I'm going to declare some context variable context CTX. Okay, now within this constructor, I'm going to initialize that variable. This dot CTX equal to CTX. Okay, so we have to modify arguments in the method call in the object creation of this class. So go to the main activity. Of course, here we get some error. You need to pass some context also. Okay, now go to the contract adapter. So now we have to get information from this array list. So first thing you need to pass this array list to the view holder class. So inside the view holder constructor, you need to add some additional arguments. So here I'm going to add a context object CTX and an array list that handle the object of conduct class. Uh, name it as conducts. Okay. And here you have to declare some array list. Array list that handle conduct objects. Uh, name it as contacts equal to new array list that handle the contact objects. Okay, now we have to initialize this array list. So here I am going to initialize the array list from the constructor. So this dot contacts equal to contacts. Okay, here we need some context object, context variable, context, I name it as CTX. Okay, uh, we have to initialize that variable also from the constructor CTX, this dot CTX equal to CTX. Okay, so now we get an activity context and the array list inside the view holder class. Okay. So whenever user click a card, it will invoke this method. So here, first we have to get the information on that particular position. So first we have to get the position. Position equal to, and you can just simply call this method called the get adapter position. Okay, now we have to get that particular object from the array list. So create an object of conduct class, conduct, uh, name it as conduct, equal to this dot conducts dot get and pass the position. Okay. Uh, now we have to start the new activity. Our new activity name is contact details. Now we have to start the new activity. So create an indent object, indent, uh, name it as indent equal to new indent 
first pass the context now specify the class here the class name is contact details so contact details dot class okay and here it is simply this dot ctx okay so now we create an indent object now we have to start the activity so before start the activity we have to add the information into the indent object we have to add the image id we have to add the person name we have to add the mobile number and email address so first we have to add the image id indent dot put extra first specify this id specify the key for the data i name it as img id now specify the data uh, you will get data by calling the getter method from this class called the contact so use this object so contact dot get image id okay now add the second data indent dot put extra uh, id name now get the data contact dot get name now email address indent dot put extra email and get the information contact uh, get the email okay and the last one is mobile number put extra with the key mobile and get the data contact dot uh, get mobile okay so now we add all the informations into the intent now we can start the activity so start activity so you have to use an activity context so this dot ctx dot start activity and pass the indent object this will start the new activity okay okay here there is an error uh, we have to pass some additional two arguments inside the view holder class for the constructor of the view holder class you have to pass the context and array list so you have to pass the context and that array list contacts okay now we have to get the information on the newly created activity and display the informations so go to the newly created activity contact details okay so first we have to define some variables we need some variable for image view name it as image view now we need some text views text view I name it as tx name tx email and tx mobile okay now we have to initialize these variables go to the contact details dot layout file the image view id is d contact image d contact name d contact email and the contact mobile okay so initialize these variables image view find it find view by id r dot id dot the contact image and typecast this one into an image view okay uh, now the second variable is tx name find it find view by id r dot id dot d contact name and typecast this one into text view i simply copy this statement paste it here now the second one is tx email 
and here it is contact email and the last one is mobile TX mobile and here it is contact mobile okay now we have to get the information from the intent data okay so first we have to assign the image view so image view dot set image resource get intent dot get int extra and specify the ID for the image ID so go to the contact adapter that ID is IMG ID name email and mobile okay so you have to specify it here IMG ID and specify some default value for it okay now set the text so second one is tx name dot set the text name plus and get the data from indent get indent dot get string extra the key is name now tx mobile dot set the text mobile now get the data from the indent get indent dot get string extra mobile and the last one is tx email dot set the text email uh, get the information from indent get indent dot get string extra email okay now we finish the coding now we can test the application okay now run the application select the virtual device okay now the application available on this virtual device so now here I am going to select one contact information I select the first contact information so it will start another activity that displays some detailed contact information now select under contact okay so this is how we handle the click events for a recycler view.